Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we will do some more exercises of 3D pictures in lab view. Let's just, I want that to show an animation of a ball, bouncing ball basically. So what it is doing that it is falling down and then it bounces back to upward. So how to make this with using 3D pictures in lab view. So let's just go on to the front panel and and then on block diagram um, first I need to place a 3d picture of my ball animation and then what I can do is place a while loop around it then go graphics and then 3d pictures and object Pin it down in here create an object go back go to geometries and create a sphere so now what I can do is I'll go to transformations and select translate object as well these are the things that are required to make the simulation so first thing first let's just go to polymorphic VI and select that object drivable which means that we can use it directly so i have shown another way how to do it by using invoke modes in my first video so i can just attach that in here and then what i can do is i can just create its radius and then what I need to do is I will connect that in here and then I have to set the translation basically so to set the translation I will use a bundle and then I will connect that with some constants like here it is it should be in zero uh, translation it is for x-axis and similarly with z-axis this will be in zero form but we need to translate that in the y-axis so what we gonna use is make a copy of it and let's just say I will put that 1.3 and uh, every time it should decrease by 0.1 so create a constant of 0.1 in here and let's just connect that in here and connect this output with my while loop replace that replace with shift register so it means that it will iterate in a loop and that will be subtracted every time the negative val the value comes output so we can connect the output with the translation and we need to stop the loop as well so we can set that if it goes um, below minus 1.3 then it could stop so create a constant of um, minus 1.3 and connect the output with this one so output scene will be connected in here and we give it some time delay of let's just say 100 so if I go to my block diagram front panel oops that is way much bigger than I thought so we can change its radius to 0 0.2 so yes that's good but let's just change it to 0 0.3 and run it again so now it's quite admissible thing and um, the next thing is let's just say if I just put that to minus 1.4 then it should touch the ground or the lower side of the picture basically so now that's proper so I then I can just clean it out my diagram and use another thing like flat sequence Put that inside of it and create another flat sequence add a frame after like this one and I can make a whole copy of this thing as well uh, so let's just make a copy of it 
place that inside what I need to change in this second picture is delete this remove the broken wire create a local variable of my first 3d picture and put that inside of my second loop so here I can just place that in here but I need to reverse the directions basically so I will start from uh, where I have put it minus 1.4 or I can say minus 1.3 because it is 0.1 difference so I can replace that with 1.2 in here and change that to replace with comparison palette greater than 1.2 that will be stop and we can even change the reverse direction speed basically so let's just say the reverse direction speed will be 150 or even 200 and uh, we can enclose that all inside of one while loop create a control of it and uh, now I can run my program so that's bounce and it is not going back because the issue is this time we need to create, change it to replace that with the numeric palette change to add because this time we're gonna add that so run again and uh, there you have it that's how it's being generated so it is bouncing back speed is slower than its uh, downward position so we can also create its change the color of its 3d picture like let's just place that inside of my while loop and what I can do else is change it to change to right go on to my graphics palette 3d pictures and helpers and choose color connect that in here and create a constant or even a control let's just say right now we are going with some green background so there you have it that's how we can create a bouncing ball simulation in LabVIEW